In the annals of history, there are moments that shimmer with the brilliance of human resilience. And then there's the siege of Leningrad, a period so grim that even the rats contemplated packing their bags and fleeing the sinking ship. Imagine, if you will, a city encased in a macabre snow globe of despair where starvation was the main course on the menu and despair was the daily special. Welcome, dear reader, to the Siege of Leningrad, a saga so gloriously depressing that it makes you want to hug your refrigerator and thank it for its unwavering loyalty. Ah, but let us not dive headfirst into the mire of misery without first setting the scene. Picture this, Leningrad, a bustling metropolis brimming with culture and vitality, suddenly finds itself under the not-so-tender embrace of a little thing called war. But not just any war, we're talking about World War II, the blockbuster event of the 20th century. And who doesn't love a good war, right? Well, unless you're the one being besieged, that is. Now here's where the fun begins. The German army, in all its infinite wisdom, decides that Leningrad looks like a rather cosy vacation spot and promptly surrounds it, cutting off all supply routes like a toddler with a pair of safety scissors. Suddenly, Leningraders find themselves in a predicament more dire than trying to choose a Netflix show. They're running out of food faster than you can say rationing. But fear not, for humanity's knack for creative problem solving knows no bounds. In Leningrad, they didn't just sit around twiddling their thumbs while hunger gnawed at their insides like a particularly peckish badger. No, they got inventive. They turned to the culinary arts with a gusto that would make Gordon Ramsay blush. Behold the Leningrad Diet, a smorgasbord of delights featuring such culinary masterpieces as boiled leather, wallpaper glue, and if you were lucky, the occasional stray cat. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the siege dragged on like a never-ending game of Monopoly played with someone who insists on being the banker and conveniently forgets the rules. Death became as common as complaints about the weather, with starvation and disease claiming lives faster than you could say, eat your vegetables. But amidst the despair and the darkness, there shone a glimmer of hope, the indomitable spirit of the human soul. Despite the odds stacked higher than a Jenga tower on steroids, the people of Leningrad refused to surrender to despair. They clung to life with a tenacity that would make a cockroach blush, showing the world that even in the face of unimaginable adversity, the human spirit can endure. So there you have it, dear reader, the siege of Leningrad, a tale of tragedy, triumph and enough sarcasm to fill a library. So the next time you find yourself grumbling about the line at the grocery store or the Wi-Fi acting up, just remember the resilient souls who weathered the storm in Leningrad and suddenly that frozen pizza doesn't seem so bad after all. Thank you kindly for watching.